Okay, welcome back to video two uh, in our platformer uh, uh, tutorial videos. This video is about setting up the layers and the platforms for the game. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our layers. And it's important we do this uh, at the beginning so that we can put things onto the layers as we create them. We don't want to be doing it near the end or, you know, once we've got things into our game, because then it becomes a bit of an e a lot of extra work, actually, to put things on the right, la right layer. So um, we have down in the bottom corner here the layers um, palette. We're going to add five new layers, just as we did with the shoot 'em up game. So if you remember how we did that, uh, we're going to do it in the same way. We're going to set up three background layers for our parallax backgrounds. So if you want to have a parallax background in, you can do. We're going to set up a layer for the action. That's where everything, uh, all the enemies, collectibles and the player will go. And one for the UI, which is where the uh, trackers for coins, score, lives will all go that the player can see. So if you come down to the bottom corner of the um, uh, screen where it says layers and we've got one already in place. So let's change the name of that one. Now you can do that by clicking on it or right clicking on it. Uh, we right click and click rename. We'll call it background uh, back. So if you remember when we're talking about the layers, if you think about it on a TV, the background back is the layer right at the background. OK, and then we'll have two more background layers. So we right click and we go to add layer at top and we'll call this one background uh, middle because that will be the middle background layer. And then right click, add layer at top, background front. There's our three back background layers. Let's add another one and call it action. And let's have another one and call that UI. OK, so we've set up our five background layers. Now we'll change the parallax uh, settings so that once we put things on, we know that the layers will run correctly. And again, this will be exactly the same as we did with our shoot them up. So if you click on background back and then come all the way over to the left hand side over here and you'll see parallax, we want that to be 10 times 100. Now yours will say 100, so change that to a 10, so 10 times 100. Now of course if you're running a vertical uh, horizontal platformer, you'll want to switch these numbers around, so it'll be 100 times 10, okay? Uh, but for now we're doing the horizontal one, so it's 10 times 100. Go to the background middle and we want it to be 40 times 100. And the front one will be 80 times 100. Now, uh, again, these numbers are arbitrary to a certain extent. If you have a play with the numbers and come up with a timing that you like and prefer, then um, that would be better than just leaving them at the default numbers I give you. So long as the background one is the lowest and the background front one is the highest of the backgrounds, it will work. Um, but if everybody just keeps them as the same numbers I'm giving you, then everybody's game will run at the same timing and speed and it will all be a bit generic. And that goes the same for the running speed and the jumping speed and the enemy speeds and all of the different values in the game. You should experiment now with how you want uh, the timing to be. OK, the action uh, number should stay on 100 by 100 because that's where all the action is going to take place. And the UI should not move at all. It should always stay on the screen. So we want that to be zero times zero. OK, and that will always stay on the screen. So now we've set up your layers uh, and we've got all five layers there. Let's just set up the platforms. So really important now, whenever we add anything to our layout, always make sure you click on the right layer. So let's click on the action layer. Otherwise, it, these things will start to go on the wrong layer. And I'm, I'm guilty of this. I do this all the time. Put things on the wrong layer, come to play the game and nothing works quite the way it should. And it takes me a few minutes to work out. I've put them on the wrong layer. So most of the stuff you put on now will be action. So let's click on that. 
And then as you remember to uh, put something into your layout, we double click. We're going to click on Sprite and we're going to call it Platform. Well, let's call it Platform 1, OK, because um, we might have multiple different types of platforms uh, if we've got different mechanics added to them. So we'll call this Platform 1. This will be our main generic platform. Remember, uh, all lowercase and no gaps in the naming conventions. Click Insert. You'll get this little uh, cross. Um, you can click anywhere at the moment. That's fine. And that will open up uh, the visual editor. Now, we don't want a square. Um, so let's resize that. Uh, let's click the resize. And my recommendation at the moment for the platform will be uh, 200 by 15. Now, again, you can change that and make it however uh, big you want. All of the uh, numbers I give you at the moment work with each other, so everything's in scale. OK, so if you change any of the numbers, which you probably should do, just make sure the other things get changed as well so it stays in scale. What scale should you choose? Well, that will be up to you once you've built your prototype and you're, you're, you're testing it and you're deciding how big you want these things to be. OK. Um, so we'll uh, change that. I often uh, will click that um, only because I want it to change the whole image. Uh, there is no animation at the moment, so you don't need to worry too much about that. But um, it might be good to get into the habit. So click OK. And there we go. We've got a, what looks more like a platform. Let's give it a color. So I'm going to color mine blue. You can color yours however you like. And we have a platform now. So let's um close that and we have a platform let's drag a few more of these platforms on so here's another one and we come from the right hand side in the project palette here and bring them over try and be careful about uh, copying and pasting um because it, it doesn't work exactly the same way um in a program like this and you can often uh, find yourself um with weird like bugs creeping in because of copy and paste uh, let's just leave it at that for now so um i get into the habit of just dragging them from over here and that way you'll be fine so i'm just going to drag a few more of these in it's going to be dead dead simple for now all i want is something where i can test the mechanics of the game okay so there's our platforms in there's one more thing we need to do and that's we need to make the platform uh solid otherwise when we get our player character in in the next video it will fall through the platform. So over here on the right hand side, double click on platform. Sorry, don't double click on platform, just highlight it. Uh, come over to the left hand side and go to uh, behaviors. So click on the little blue word that says behaviors, then click on add new behavior. And right at the top there under attributes, you'll see it says solid. Click add. And there you go. You've added the solid ability now. That's it for video two uh, on uh, creating layers and sorting out platforms. Um, join me for video three, where we'll be going through creating the player character and getting them moving and jumping around.